Hello there. If you've been watching the forecast for Europe in recent days, the story hasn't changed that much. We've got a large area of high pressure dominating in Central Europe with weather fronts pushing in off the Atlantic. Now you can see exactly where the unsettled weather is by the cloud and here we've got some stronger winds as well with weather warnings out for damaging gusts of winds and rough seas across northern Spain. Heavy rain moves its way through France, Germany, the Low Countries and again to the east of that it's largely fine and settled. That said across the southeast Mediterranean still stormy could see some significant rainfall to the islands of Crete. Across much of the Mediterranean though it's fine and quiet and as you can see by Wednesday later on in the afternoon most of that rain will have eased away from Spain. Still got some uh, rain across northern France and the Low Countries also into Scandinavia. So by Wednesday that front will ease its way through and Thursday it's going to allow another one to push in from the Atlantic. We do it all again across the UK, northern France and also into Spain. Elsewhere, it's fine, settled and still pretty mild for the time of year. But we are going to see signs of things quietening down. So London and Paris will be drier from the weekend and potentially into next week. For Eastern Europe, it's still pretty mild, but those temperatures are heading close to freezing across parts of Russia. Hello there. We're still looking at our northwest southeast divide across North America. It's been winter proper, particularly through British Columbia, with a relentless pulse of wet weather pushing in off the Pacific Northwest. And because it's so cold, it's been producing some snow. That's where the cold air is sitting. It's weather front here in the warmer air, still producing some intense showers, some of them heavy rumbles of thunder and some hail. But to the south and east across Florida, that's where we've got the warmth. Now, sandwiched in between the two, there's a large area of high pressure. So across the southern Rockies and down into West Texas, there's a good deal of fine weather as well. Take a look at this west coast though in a little more detail. That's where the interesting weather is at the moment. It's been bitterly cold in British Columbia. Vancouver has seen temperatures struggling to climb above freezing. Yes, we've got some snow, rain perhaps really close to the coastline and some of that pushing south into Northern California as well. So a little less cold towards the end of the working week, you can see, but nevertheless, still unsettled. Now across that east coast, we've got some rain pushing into New York and to Washington, down into Tennessee. Now don't forget this frontal system, the dividing line between that pretty warm moist air in the southeast, so temperatures still in the high 20s here. Some of those showers really could be quite heavy. So we've got some sharp showers into Atlanta, warm and sunny for Miami over the next couple of days. Hello then, a forecast for Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean all coming up shortly. But first of all, we'll start off with the satellite picture across South America. And you can see quite clearly it's picking up a weather front into southern Chile, but also this massive cloud here. It's a cold front that's going to be drifting its way north out of Argentina into Uruguay and eventually pushing into southern Brazil. And it'll enhance the rainfall here over the next couple of days. It'll also introduce something a little bit cooler as well. Now, further north of that, we've got our usual showers, particularly across Colombia and into Ecuador, those stretching into northern Brazil too. A few scattered showers into central and southern Brazil. They'll become a little bit more widespread as we go through the week. There's that rain into Uruguay and northern Argentina, with the weather front bringing some snow to higher ground into southern tip of Chile. So our city forecast over the next few days shows that rain easing out of Argentina, but some sharper showers developing through Rio from Friday onwards. Now for Mexico, it looks largely fine and quiet. Got a few showers across Central America, nothing particularly concerning, and some dry weather across the Caribbean. Any showers mostly through the eastern half of the Caribbean, they'll be fairly fleeting and still the dominant feature is going to be lots of sunshine. It's certainly the place to be other than one or two showers into Cuba into the weekend. Dry, settled and warm with it. Temperatures into the low 30s. Hello there. If you've been following the forecast for Africa in recent days, it's a similar pattern. We've still got a storm across the eastern Mediterranean. That's interacting with the far northeast coast of Africa. Here's our seasonal rain. So through Zambia, southern parts of Tanzania, Mozambique and Madagascar, we've got some enhanced showers here. And there may well be a storm potentially developing across that north Madagascan coastline over the next few days. At the same time, the Western Cape still basking in plenty of sunshine and heat 
with temperatures in excess of 30 degrees. So that's the story as we go through Wednesday. And if we take a look at the city forecast for the next few days, some of that heat will start to ease a little into Cape Town as we move towards the weekend. But elsewhere, there's a good deal of dry weather around as well. And we start to see some cloud maybe towards Cairo uh, across that north Egyptian coastline, all tied into that area of low pressure. It could stay pretty unsettled here. And there's the signs of that system that's going to move its way potentially towards the Levant over the next few days. A little bit of lifted dust, but the wind's starting to ease across the north in the Middle East and perhaps a few showers into Oman. But it's relatively dry, quiet story for many. As you can see quite clearly, there's going to be a lot of sunshine in the forecast through the middle part of the week and not much change as we look ahead, as you can see. The risk of a few showers, but it's mostly blue sky, sunshine and warmth. Hello there. A relatively quiet story across much of South Asia at the moment. Let's take a look at the satellite picture. You can see some shower cloud across Sri Lanka and across the southern tip of India. It's pretty cold up into the northwest here. And there's the potential for some sharper showers, which may well bring some snowfall across the Himalayas over the next few days. So that's the general gist. As you can see, a good deal of dry weather not that much in the way of cloud cover around plenty of sunshine. So the showers are likely to be up into the far north. We could see some fog as well across the northeast, which will be slow to lift away. Let's take a look at Central Asia in a little more detail. Not that much in the way of change in comparison to the last few days. Not quite as cold on Wednesday in Kazakhstan as it has been, but that cold weather is here to stay for the remainder of the week. And it looks as though we will see a little bit of fair weather cloud and some sunshine elsewhere. Now across the bulk of Pakistan and India, dry and settled, just an isolated risk of a shower across the Maldives and into Sri Lanka and stretching up into northeastern states as well is pretty much business as usual. So that's the story as we go through Wednesday, looking ahead to the city forecast. You can see we continue with the risk of some showers into Sri Lanka dry, settled and sunny elsewhere. But it still stays pretty cold across much of Central Asia with temperatures struggling to climb above freezing and there'll be further snow to come over the next few days. Hello there. Before we take a look at the forecast for Asia, I just want to point out that in the Pacific at the moment, there is a potential maybe for a tropical storm to develop and threaten Fiji over the next few days. We'll need to keep an eye on that. But elsewhere, we've got our usual shower clouds picking up on the satellite picture across Malaysia and Indonesia. We've got a weather front slicing China in two. To the north of that, it's pretty cold. And we've got some cold weather across the far north of Japan, bringing a little bit of snow to higher ground and some showers at lower level here. There's that weather front bringing some rain into central China. To the south of it, it's still pretty humid here and largely fine and dry. A few sharper showers into Malaysia and Indonesia, as we saw from that shower cloud on the satellite picture. So the city forecasts show all this quite nicely. It does stay pretty chilly into Beijing, but overcast for much of the week. Now, elsewhere into Australia, it does look as though we're seeing the signs of a change to come. Got a few showers into Western Australia with weather fronts moving their way through the bite. Still some warmth into the southeast, but over the next few days, we're looking at a change. And if we take a look at this in more detail, there's a possibility across that Queensland coast down into New South Wales and Victoria of seeing some rain, some of it heavy and slow moving. And that will certainly be very welcome indeed. So here's the forecast, as you can see, Sydney and Melbourne, some showers over the next five days.